before going to that condition they will give you like this. In a prism, yellow color of refractive index is 1.51. Red color of refractive index is red color of refractive index is 1.42 and that of violet is 1.6 violet color refractive. For example, to understand the numerical, they will ask us dispersive power, simple now, dispersive power omega equal to mu v minus mu r by mu yellow minus 1. There is no a term because a is cancelled. Mu v 1.6 minus 1.42 of that of red color and that of prism by low mu 1.51 minus 1. So, now that is 1.6 minus 1.428.18 8, am I right? 6 minus that is 10, 10 minus 2 means 8, 5 left, 5 minus 4, 1, 0 0.18 by 0 0.51. So, roughly I am going to say like this 18, 18 by 51 is nearly 51.34 or 35 like that dispersive power that you can do it it's not a big issue i think so you can calculate roughly 3.5 0.35 is a dispersive power in this way dispersive power you are going to get always positive never you will get it as neg negative term and one more thing don't write any units for this you are habituated with angles your degrees are like that you don't get because it is ratio next okay this is the way of asking small problem for example in the given problem they don't given like this LOE is not given how to approach the problem LOE is not given means then how to calculate dispersive power omega equal to mu v minus mu r by mu mean mu v plus mu r by 2 minus 1. This is the way of approach the problem. So, most of the people they are searching for yellow color. Sorry said like this, yellow color is should be there. It is not compulsory yellow. Then you can find violet and red means take it as mean mu v plus mu r by 2. Same thing now 1.6 minus 1.42 by what it is 1.6 plus 1.42 by 2 minus 1. I think so you can do the calculation. It is not a big issue. Okay. In this way, they can ask you questions based on dispersive power and their conditions.